Yo, what up, man? It's your boy Chris. I'm about you checking in, man. The Crown 2 Guerrilla Warfare, November 21st, man. The biggest card in battle rap in 2015. So we definitely need to support it. Shout out to Gracie. Shout out to Guerrilla Warfare. They got pay-per-view, man. So if you can't be in the building, you scared to go to Chicago, you don't want to get shot and all this other crazy shit I'm hearing niggas say, I don't know if I can go to Chicago. Come on, man. It ain't that bad. I'm going and I'm light-skinned. So if I'm going... Anybody can go, man. We definitely need to support this card. You can't be in a building, man. Rap grid. Get the pay-per-view. No, they are not doing a live stream and no shit like that. So you're going to have to get the pay-per-view probably like a couple days after the event, man. But it definitely be worth it. A lot of battles on this card. There's a lot of shit going on that entire day. To keep it real. They got a battle rap awards. They got about seven battles. They got a whole undercard the day before. I'm not going to do a prediction blog on that. But they got a lot of shit going on that day. Hopefully they can get everything in in a timely manner. But uh, let's just go over these battles, man. First battle, XL versus Heavy Half. A lot of y'all may not even know who Heavy Half is. But yo, he's definitely up and coming, man. I saw one of his battles. I was impressed. I think he's going to beat XL, to be real with you. XL been losing a lot of battles. I don't know what's going on with him. Taking too many battles. He's also on the Detroit card which I need to do a prediction blog for that also. He's on the Detroit card. So yeah, he's taking a lot of battles, man. And Adriana's is one of these rooms. You need stage presence. You need performance. You need delivery. Pretty much everything Excel don't have. You know what I'm saying? He got bars, but his delivery is kind of boring, kind of slow, kind of, you know, ain't nothing crazy about it. Adriana's is one of these rooms that's going to be packed. It's going to be a lot of people in the building. It'll be a decent crowd in Adriana's. So, I mean, XL is going to have to be able to win over that entire crowd. I got Heavy have winning this battle, man. 2-1 just continuing the streak of XL losing battles. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I don't know when the last time. I mean, he had a good showing versus JC, but other than that, he just been losing battles. And Heavy have is going to be another one. So, that's what I got. Newborn versus JC. Yo, I'm really excited about this battle for Newborn. He's been calling out three dudes for the past two years. Big T, Chilla Jones, and JC. I don't think he's ever going to get Big T. But he's supposed to get Chilla Jones on RBE coming up maybe next year in 2016. And now he's going to get JC. He got to win the battle, man. He do all this talking on Facebook. All these niggas are overrated. JC is boring. JC is overrated. All, he got to win the fucking battle. That's all it is at the end of the day. I'm pulling for the underdog, newborn. I want him to win the battle just because he's the underdog, man. I'm tired of seeing him not win. I want him to win. But JC definitely can win this battle. But a part of me is just feeling like this is newborn's only shot to get some fucking respect. Nobody's going to care about all these other niggas he's been beating if he can't beat JC and he can't beat Chilla Jones. That's all that's going to matter at the end of the day. So I got Newborn winning this battle, man. I don't think JC may be as hungry for, to battle Newborn when I talked to him earlier this year. Said Newborn was too thirsty. This is for the group, man. What's up? Why won't you battle because new, the Newborn, so man? Weak. Why won't you nah, battle gotta, Newborn, nah, man? <laughs> newborn, newborn want to battle you so bad, man. Nah, it's it's personal. Like I, I would hate to nigga. Like niggas would be like JC battle, you know, whatever niggas and blah 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 blah. It's, it's very easy to pick up a pen and just write for a, a nigga that you don't know and don't know you don't know nothing about. You, it's just easy to pick up a pen and do it. So, but 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 the thing with newborn, man, it's just, I'm so tired of that little nigga, man. It's been like three years, bro. Like, when I battled Luciano Crack, bro, that's that's 2011, bro. Yeah, I got off stage, bro. The nigga was like, yo, you wigged, but I'll kill you. And I'm like, see, this is the thing. People think I'm. I would have never battled Newborn. I'm just not interested. I wouldn't have battled Newborn before I even was known for anything. I wouldn't have battled him to get on. I you wouldn't think have he's terrible? Him. Nah, I don't think he's terrible at all. I just it's some it's it, something. It, it's it, a block. It, 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 it's his thirst on. level. A turn off. It, it might be that because it's like literally every time I see him, it's like. Nick, like these niggas that these nobodies that you see me battle, they don't say a word to me. I get the call and then I write and then that's it. And I get on stage, I pick them niggas apart and I go back home. I think you do like that. I think you want to use you for your name. That's exactly what it is, cause it's. I mean, it's not. It's nothing wrong. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's chess. It. This whole shit is yeah, chess. Yeah, it's nothing you wrong with it. It's nothing wrong with it. I just felt like the way he went about it was just. It just it, it turns the interest level way off. You know what I mean? And like was you there for him and Bricks? Even yeah, and I thought that was crazy. I'm mean, no, no, I wasn't there, but I, I seen this shit on the um, on the pay per view, and this shit was crazy. Born is my man. He know that we talk all the time, so like I keep it official. I just think what it is is he's too much of a risk 
to lose to for certain niggas, but also it's the fact that every time he got that shot, the last time he was, it was Skull. He was supposed to run through Skull. You get what I'm saying? And I think that was like the major turn off. Like, and that's like, like we talk about it, but I think that was it. And it's like, you know, we all have our faults because I go through a lot of bullshit. You get what I'm saying? On certain stages and shit like that. But him uh, is bad because the nigga deadass was rapping when we started. Like, he was my first battle in Lions Den. So when I met Lux and Mook and all <clears throat> nigga, they knew him already. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, and he was crazy. He was always crazy with the pen. It's yeah, just, that's what it's I'm just the not, pressure. I, I don't think it was ever his talent. I don't think it was ever his talent. I think it was, ever his, talent. Nah, I think it was his, his preparation. Not. His yeah, preparation. I'm not even his shocked that him and Bricks had the type of battle they had. I'm not <laughs> like, but I'm somebody said something like this. They said, yeah, they got crazy because it was in a room. It wasn't that stage. You feel what I'm saying? It's like a little different. I think if we battle in this room right now, me and you were just verses. We could we could light this whole room up because we know how to control that. <laughs> They know how to do that, but niggas want to see Born on that stage. I want to see Born on that stage. I'm gonna keep it real, but I want him to actually take a nigga serious and do it and and, and show his potential. You but Born need to be, and use Born the right need to be more humble. This is the thing with with Born. Like he tell every single nigga that he run into, he'll kill him, and then we'll look at it like, Born, you've been around for a very long time, bro. It, you. You haven't shown us that you do that. You don't. We we don't believe you would kill anything because we 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 watch you. We've been we watching you nice. for a long yeah. time. Yeah, we know you nice. But bro, if you want to battle, okay. But don't walk up. I mean, don't walk up to him and be like, I kill you. You you overrated. I kill you. He's like, oh damn. Man. I don't even want to talk to the nigga, man, because it's, it's it got to be all that. He didn't even want to battle newborn. So newborn might just win this battle. I'm hoping he can win this battle. But I wouldn't be surprised if JC won. But Newborn 2 1 in this battle, man. Daylight vs. Red. I had to re upload this video because I left out this battle the first time. Um, what the fuck happened to O Red, man? His buzz is super low right now. I mean, I'm in an unbiased Facebook group every day and nobody is talking about O Red at all. You know what I'm saying? I don't see him really too much on Twitter. Nobody is talking about old Red. He's not on none of the big cars in battle rap outside of this one. I talked to ARP and I asked ARP, was he going to redo the old Red and Math battle that was previously set up that Math pulled out after the whole disaster punch? He told me, old Red told him that he wanted to fall back. He wasn't taking no battles until he had the right battle. So out of sight, out of mind, people have not been fucking with old Red lately. His buzz is super low, which actually scares me when it comes to daylight because it seemed like when daylight gets an opponent that people don't really feel like has a buzz right now or people ain't really got no interest in for some reason daylight don't take an interest in it so i don't really know how this battle is gonna play out it could be a bar fest because old red got bars and daylight got bars and since i'm going to the crown i called daylight and said what daylight are we gonna see because i ain't coming to chicago to see no bullshit ass daylight the nigga told me he was gonna show up as bumblebee and this is what he sent me Searched the Bumblebee YouTube video and say, yo, I found a place where you can get a human transformer costume. I'm showing up as Bumblebee. So I don't know, man. I hope the nigga was trolling, dog. But with that being, if he does anything like that, O-Red is obviously going to win the battle because Daylight going to be on his whole antic bullshit. I don't know, man. I hope we get a good Daylight. I hope he was just trolling. If Daylight brings bars, he's going to win the battle. He's more popular than O-Red. His performance is better than O-Red. His charisma, everything about him is better than O-Red. And people in Chicago is going to fuck with Daylight. But for some reason, dog, I think he's going to take a round or two off and just bullshit. I don't know why I just got that feeling, man. I just really got that feeling. O-Red probably going to win this battle. John John the Dime versus Young Cannon. Two of the most underrated dudes in battle rap. It's a lot of dudes that's underrated. John John, 
A lot of y'all may feel like, well, he's on some of the biggest cars in battle rap. How is he underrated? Because niggas don't fuck with John John for whatever reason. They always booing him in New York. They always looking for ways to discredit him. Oh, he's a thief. Oh, he's this. And at the end of the day, man, John John has been showing and proving, and it's time niggas start giving him his respect. Same with Young Cannon. And I don't know what the fuck is up with Young Cannon and Steams. The battle isn't out. Young Cannon and DNA isn't out. It seems like every time Young Cannon really shows up, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't really get a chance for his battle to drop. So it's about time he started getting some respect. Both of them are PG killers. John John is pretty much the, the, the top of the dog in terms of PG dudes. The best PG nigga in the history of PGs. I don't know what the fuck that means, though. I mean, like, I don't know. Is that supposed to be an accomplishment? I don't, I don't know. But he is the best PG dude in battle rap. And Young Cannon was a PG killer. Beat Beat Magic, Beat JC, Beat Clean Paper. So, I mean, he pretty much was a PG killer. So this should be a good battle. I'm going with Young Cannon to win this battle, man, because he's at home. He needs it. He's hungrier. Beasley, I talked to Beasley the other day. He's all on Young Cannon now. Like, yo, you know, Young Cannon is killing it right now. I'm thinking, nigga, he been killing it. Like, where the fuck y'all been? But he's telling me, oh, Young Cannon is killing it. I'm thinking about setting him up with Rum Nitty. I'm thinking about setting him up with this dude. So I don't know. We may see more of Young Cannon on URL. I don't know what is up with the URL, URL West uh, battles. No B Magic and KG the Poet. No Young Cannon and Steams. I don't know. Maybe they'll come out. I don't know. Hopefully they not vaulted. I ain't heard no shit about them being vaulted. But Young Cannon needs his battle to come out. He also recently had a battle on iBattle. That was fire too, man. So a lot of y'all going to see a lot from Young Cannon, man. This is another battle where he steps up to the plate. John John, it'll be a good battle because John John ain't nobody to sleep on. But I'm giving Young Cannon the edge in this battle, man. Ill Will versus K-Shine. Um, this will be another pretty decent battle, man. It's hard to really call. I know Ill Will going to be barking on him saying, you're not a real nigga. You don't really do what you do. I'm from Yak Town. I really live this life. And I think Ill Will has better... You know, I guess better performance a little bit. Or maybe their performance is kind of equal. Kayshawn and me got better bars, though. So, I don't know, man. NWX, they've been on their shit lately. Wouldn't be surprised to me if they brainstorming on ways to pick apart Ill Will already. No DNA already beat Ill Will. So, it wouldn't be surprising if he gave this nigga some ideas on how you need to attack Ill Will. Ill Will is on Twitter saying that we're going to see a dope Ill Will in this showing. And then he don't feel like he getting the respect. This should be a pretty good battle. But I am the NWX blogger. I don't know. DNA told me I was the NWX blogger. I don't know what the fuck that mean either. But anyway, I'm going with K-Shine in, uh, in this battle, man. I just feel like bar-wise, he's better with bars than uh, Ill Will. Ill Will will probably be barking on him, little boying him a little bit. That shit will probably work well in the Midwest. I'm going to keep it real with you. So K-Shine may be a little bit out of his element battling in Chicago. But I don't know, man. It's probably a toss-up, to be real with you. I like Ill Will. Who I want to win just because I fuck with him more on a battle tip, K-Shine. So I got K-Shine winning this battle. Lady Luck versus Official. I'm not really excited about this battle. I don't know when the last time we saw a Lady Luck battle. Is she even good now? Do she even got bars like that? Can she even deal with the way battle rap is today? I don't know, but I got Official winning this battle, man. I think it'll be an easy win for Official. I mean, maybe I'm sleeping on Lady Luck, but ain't nothing told me that she gonna beat Official. But I got Official winning this battle, man. She need this win very badly because niggas are trying to say she a little overrated because she lost the hustle. So I don't know where they getting that from. I feel like Official has solidified herself in the game. And um, I think this is going to be a good bounce back battle for her. I got her winning this battle, man, pretty easy. I think she's going to win it clearly, be punching Lady Luck's head off. I think it's going to be too much for her. Lady Luck is on Twitter doing a lot of talking as well. But at the end of the day, Official will win this battle. I'm going with old Fish, man. 2-1 in this battle, maybe even 3-0. Mav Hoffa versus Big K. This battle was the one I'm most excited about. Out of all the battles on the card, this is the battle I can't wait to see. I fuck with Big K. You know what I'm saying? Despite everything me and him been through in the past, all the little shit talking we did. I spoke to him recently on the phone. I just called him and got the blue. I didn't even know if he would take my call or nothing, but we, got, we ended up able to chop it up, man. So he's definitely looking forward to the Mav battle. He told me he was supposed to battle Big T. Somehow it got switched to Mav, but he said that Mav was his biggest battle to this date, so he wasn't going to play with Mav. And Mav told me the same thing. Mav actually told me he was going to go bar for bar with Big K. I don't know how that shit going to work out, but I don't even trust that shit because Mav is always one of these dudes that come with angles, come with personals. I think Mav will have something up his sleeve for Big K. 
And um, I don't know if it's going to work, man, because Big Cave been on a roll. He a hard dude to beat, man. His style is just, that shit can just go anywhere in battle. And I'm not fuck with Mav. I want Mav to be on this comeback. No RBE battles, no URL battles, no King of the Dot battles. Seem like Mav is kind of falling out of element. Sue Surf is on Hot 9-7, talking about he's only known for a punch. Niggas acting like Mav ain't even, been, ain't even been this nigga in this battle rap shit. So I don't even feel like he getting the respect he deserved no more. But I don't know if Big K is the battle that you get it back. Big K 2-1, man. But I want Mav to win just because I fuck with Mav. But I don't know if he going to beat Big K, to be real with you. So I'm going with Big K in this battle. Charlie Clips versus Big Cannon. This battle was supposed to go down, what, earlier this year? Maybe even last year. Uh, Clips pulled out because he was sick or whatever. Or is it something was going on with his, I think, his grandmother or some shit like that. So he pulled out of the battle. So I don't know, man. He told me when I talked to him recently, he tried to take Calico on his card. And somehow they just decided to make it Big Cannon because it was a, you know, a makeup battle or whatever. So I don't really know how much he really wants to battle Big Cannon. I think he'll come with at least two good rounds, hopefully. I got Big Cannon winning this battle, man. One of the most underrated dudes in battle rap. Him, uh, who else? Young Cannon, John John the Don, Cyborg. It's a lot of dudes that I fuck with in battle rap that I feel like is underrated. Big Cannon is probably one of the most underrated dudes. And um, I think it's going to be a big battle for him, man. He needs to beat Charlie Clips. I think he's going to show and prove and surprise, man. I think Clips may just take the battle a little light, may freestyle a little bit, bullshit a little bit, come with a little bit of fat jokes, try to be on some funny shit. And I don't know. I think Big Cannon going to bar him away. And to be real with you, I got Big Cannon winning this battle 2-1. Last battle on the card is Averb versus Sue Surf. I know Surf always gives you a good performance, whether it's on URL or whether it's you battling bricks. You know what I'm saying? Out in Cali. He always gives you a good performance. Averb is one of these dudes that's still one of these niggas in battle rap that you can't play with. You know what I'm saying? Despite the K-Shine shit and everything, you got to realize, man, he could have took Shotgun Shook at Summer Madness 5. He didn't take Shook just so he could prepare more for this battle. So I don't know. I think Verb going to have some shit up his sleeve. I think Sue Surf... It ain't, I mean, I fuck with Surf, man, but he ain't crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of these Surf, no crazy Surf fanatics like a lot of these other people. Surf got a lot of good battles. Surf always brings his A game, but he's not crazy to me. I think Verb is, I think lyrically he's a little bit better. And I think him being in the Midwest, he's going to be in his element. I think he's going to beat Surf, man. I really think he's going to beat Surf. I don't know if he's going to come with the ghostwriting angles and all that other little shit. But I think he's going to be too much for Surf, especially in the Midwest. This shit was in New York. I'll be going with Surf all day just for the home crowd and just for the love he get on URL. But in Chicago, my nigga, like they fuck with him out there. And I think Verb is going to win this battle. That is the car, man. Y'all make sure y'all support. Guerrilla Warfare, November 21st, man. Get your tickets. They are still on sale. Rap Grid pay-per-view, man. I think they're like $30, so it's definitely worth ordering. Shout out to Gracie. Shout out to Big Cannon. Shout out to Big Stacks. I'm biased for you, man. Holla at your boy.